Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at this very nice Yushio color light. 175 watt, probe start blue, or 20,000K, whatever you want to call it, metal halide bulb. Now this particular bulb was bought off eBay for a staggering $50, which was ridiculously expensive, if I am allowed to say that. But anyways, let's not waste any more time, and we might as well look at the etch real quick, also known as the information about this blue metal halide lamp. So I'm going to point it into some light source so we can get a good view of the etch. And it's somewhat rubbed off, which is kind of disappointing, but at least I can still read it and know what this bulb means. So anyway, sorry for the shaking. Um, we have our company name right here. It's obviously a Yushio. That kind of sounds very Japanese to me. So, very nice. And under it we have our bulb description. And it's a UHI-S, meaning our company name up top which we all know that it's a Yushio and under it is the and right by it is the wattage right here and then after the wattage is our color which is blue or BDX whatever you want to call it I'm also going to be putting the BDX in the title below of this video as well so you'll see that under it we have our ANSI ballast code right here or ballast type I should say it's the M57 and it's recommended for enclosed fixtures since there isn't a shield around the arc tube of course we have our mercury symbol right here and this is the manufacturing date. This was manufactured in November of 2003. So I'm going to put that in the description below. And this is where it was produced. Made in Germany. So that is pretty much what is on this etch on this bulb. Now we might as well look at the construction real quick of this blue metal halide lamp. So we first have our base. It's a hard aluminum base with a glass insulator. So very nice. Very nice hard aluminum base with a glass insulator, so this thing will hold up very well when in operation. Of course we have some, I don't know if you can actually see it, but there's some bulb glue in the bottom of the bulb itself holding the base together while the bulb is being shipped to hardware stores or something like that. And of course we have our stem right here. We have our probe start resistor. And we have... We can clearly see the probe circuit since there isn't any coatings of ceramic on the arc tube. About four months ago, I made a video of a green metal halide lamp, and it did not have any coatings of ceramic on the arc tube. And this one also does not have any coatings of ceramic on the arc tube, which is pretty cool. And I also forgot to mention back when I was looking at the edge of this bulb, the burning position is universal according to the arc tube, and I looked at this data sheet on the on Yushio dot com I believe it was so this burning position is any position meaning universal so I can burn it in any position without any issue so anyway um, we have our arc tube right here you can see that it is filled with iodine halide salts instead of just regular sodium chloride sodium fluoride sodium iodide and bromide halide salts in the arc tube if those four were in the arc tube that means it would just only be white but if it's only iodine halide salts, the symbol I on the periodic table of elements, it would just be iodine only. And therefore, they give off like somewhat, I don't know, let's just say about dark violet or something. And then they have like a violet color when they ionize. And as it vaporizes, it'll be blue, which is very cool. And speaking of blue, you can see letters BL printed on the arc tube right there. And that tells me that it's a blue metal halide lamp. So, very cool. And of course we have this um, little ceramic um, tube right here supporting the arc tube. And it's blue in color, telling me that it's a blue metal halide. And of course we have our dimple right here. And that's it pretty much for the construction. So I might as well give you some specifications about this bulb and then I'll turn it on for you guys. So this particular blue metal halide bulb here produces, get this, 3900 lumens. This is, this is a very low output for this bulb. Very low light output for this bulb. It's probably because there's less um, uh, chemicals in the arc tube, only iodine and mercury and argon. So that's probably the reason. The average lifetime on this bulb here is 6,000 hours. So that is still pretty good. And it's a little longer than my plus right 400 watt green metal halide lamp that I made four months ago on my channel. And the burning position is universal according to Yushio.com and the website of their um, data sheet for this bulb in particularly. So very nice. 
Um, I do believe I... I don't have any more specifications to say out loud. I'll put the rest of the specifications slash information in the description below of this video as well. So you'll see that once I post this video. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and give this blue metal halide lamp a shot and let it start up. And the fixture that I'm going to be using is my Hubble lighting 175 watt metal halide floodlight that I got back in July of this year. So I've had this for two months, nearly three. And this bulb is going to be permanently staying in this fixture until it burns out. And I'm also going to be using this for New Year's of 2021. And once it powers this up, I'm going to power up all of these fixtures that I have on my shelf right here all at once. And then this bulb is going to be included once I turn on all of the fixtures. So I'm going to close up the door. All right, looks like we're good here. I got to make sure everything's plugged in. And it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut off this light in the room here so we can get a better view of the blue metal halide lamp turning on. Alright, now I'm going to set the camera right where the bulb is so we can get a good view of the arc tube turning on. And it's a really, it's, the arc tube's really big up close but in person it's really tiny. But anyways, um, sorry I have to delay the, the fun here because I have to get my welding goggles on for this purpose because these lamps are really bright and they can br blind you pretty easily if you don't wear any type of safety gear. So anyways, I believe that's that, so enough of me talking now. Let's go ahead and turn on this brand new, or actually used, blue or 20,000K metal halide lamp. Let's turn on this blue slash 20,000K metal halide lamp. Here we go. So this blue metal halide lamp is at full brightness now, and as you can see, it's actually still quite bright, even though it puts out 3900 lumens only. So as you can see, this bulb lights up this room quite nicely, mostly my curtains as you can see right here. As you can see, it lights up this room quite nicely in blue, which is very nice. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice video of this Yushio Color Light 175 watt probe start blue, or 20,000K, whatever you want to call it, metal halide lamp. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you all very much for watching.